Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson we're going to be looking at the major scale. Scales are the foundation of all musical harmony and learning all 12 major scales is very important for anyone who wants to understand music theory, sight read, learn how to improvise or play more complex styles of music such as jazz. When we play a piece of music we quite often just play notes within a specific scale and this scale tells us what key we are playing in. So, for example, if we're playing a song that just consisted of notes from within the C major scale, we would say that we're playing in the key of C. All major scales consist of seven notes, and I think the best way to practice them in all 12 keys is to use the circle of fifths. If you're not familiar with the circle of fifths, then go and check out my lesson explaining what they are and how to use them. If we start at the top of the circle, on C, there are no flats or sharps, so we just play white notes from C to C. Moving clockwise around the circle, we get to the fifth note of C, which is G. And this major scale contains one sharp, which is F sharp. So again, we play white notes between G and G, but this time we just sharpen the F. So next up is D, and to play this major scale we add a second sharp, C sharp. So to play this scale we need to sharpen the F and the C. If you haven't noticed the pattern yet, each time we add a new sharp, we're sharpening the seventh note of the new scale. So for the D major we just played, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that was the note we had to sharpen to get C sharp. Moving on, we come to A, and again we add one more sharp to what we had before, which is a G sharp, the seventh of A. So now we need to sharpen the F, the C, and G. Next up is E major, which has four sharps. And this time, the new sharp is D sharp. So these are all the sharper notes we have in this scale. And the scale should look like this. Next is B major, and this time we add an A sharp. So we have a C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp. Moving on, again clockwise around the circle, we get to the bottom, F sharp. 
And just like before, we only need to add one more sharp to the previous scale. And this time, it's an E sharp. Now if we sharpen an E, it looks like the note F, but in this context it's called an E sharp, because the note F is technically not within the scale. So the scale of F sharp major should look like this. So now we've got to the bottom of the circle of fifths, we need to start again at the top, but this time go around anti-clockwise. So to get from C to F, we start with a C major again. And when we go anti-clockwise, we get to the fourth note of C, which is F. And this time, we'll be adding flats instead of sharps. So F major has just one flat, which is B flat. So to play the scale, we would just play the white notes between F and F, and flatten the B. So if we go to the fourth note of our F major, we get to the next scale on our circle, B flat. And it's always the fourth note which is flattened as well. So this time, one, let's bring it down here, one, two, three, four, we need to flatten the E. So all together we have a B flat and an E flat. And the scale should look like this. Next up is E flat, which has three flats, and they are E flat, A flat, and B flat. Moving up a fourth again, we have A flat. A flat has four flats an A flat, a B flat, a D flat, and an E flat. And this is how the scale should look. We'll bring it down an octave. Moving up a fourth again, we have D flat. This scale has five flats. They are D flat, E flat, G flat, A flat, and F flat. Moving to our final scale, G flat. G flat has six flats, and we have the same as before, plus a C flat. So the scale for G flat major is So that's all the 12 major scales. 
And the thing to remember when practicing these scales is that when we move around the circle of fifths, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, only one note is changed from the previous scale. This is what makes adjacent keys so closely related to each other. One other thing to note is that F sharp major and G flat major are enharmonic keys, and this means that they contain the same notes and sound exactly the same, but the notes are notated differently. We do this to make things such as composing and reading music easier in certain situations, but for now we just have to accept that it's the same scale but with two different names. So if you head over to Piano Pig's resources section, you can download a copy of the Circle of Fifths and also a document which has all 12 major scales written out along with the fingering for each scale. I hope that helped, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want even more videos, resources, backing tracks and more, then head over to our website, pianopig.com. See you there.